In the last week, I've graduated from a Motorola Moto E second generation to a Moto G4. And I will give you an overview, as I've got nothing to hide. And I'm just, just going to be talking uh, about this screen. Then going on to the next one, you can read, if you wish to, the sort of things that I have on a daily, daily basis. There's nothing really there that's um, incredibly exciting whatsoever. One of the things that I am looking at on this five and a half inch screen is, and I'm just going to go down and do the short part, which is the device help, because this is something I've only just discovered, maybe because I'm, you know, like we all are, occupied doing things we don't really know. In the Motorola, when you go to the help, there is a fix button. And when you go down here, you can actually test all of your hardware. And you can see that I've already done some tests on simple, simple things about which sensors are working, whether the displays are working, stuff like that. The one that I really, really like is akin to the Windows 10 desktop machine. And that is that if you look at the, it's the device information I want, and this is the one I really like, because straight away it tells me that I'm working, even though screen recording right now, at 10% of my CPU, I've got 68% RAM, as I probably would, because I'm recording the screen as well as speaking to you and looking at this thing, and you can see that it is possibly quite useful. Um, so that is it for this video. I'm going to be talking a lot more on the things that I actually use on screen and how this device, which is an octa-core, that's eight cores, five and a half inch screen, a 1080p video, and giving me the opportunity for lots of good fun, it really is.